change the damper. And the torsion damper. Is that silicone gets hard after half a million miles? It used to be years ago, 380,000 they were done. Silicones have come a long way, uh, like, the, like all chemicals. That noise you're hearing now, that, yeah. that grounding down deep, that's the damper. Is it? Yeah. So that grind, that... Uh, that a vibration and vibration and that that what we're hearing whenever you're making power that is the torsional damper so we've got to get a torsional damper and the mercury filled engine balancer on some people think they're the same because everyone wants to call it a harmonic balancer right that's what we called on race car engines harmonic balancers they're really not they're torsional dampers and they take the torsional twisting out of the crankshaft every time the piston is slammed down it wants to twist the crank well there's a big steel ring that rides in that damper and it rides on teflon and it's cushioned by silicone and so yours have what does it have in it? It's, they're, they're all, they all have the same in them. Okay. The silicon and they ride on Teflon. Ours are made in the USA by Vibratech. The people that we used to be called Weedow and then they changed the name to Vibratech and they're up in uh, Springville, New York, just straight north of us. And they're the only ones that are made in the USA. Cummins, Cat in Detroit jumped ship and went to China and India, and they got them made for pennies on a dollar, but they never passed on the savings to the consumer. Uh, so we stayed with the one made in the USA. Oh, good. And we have less problems, and we prefer everything to be made in the USA. Uh, Mack Trucks is Vibratech's number one client, oh, or wow. number two. Really? We sell that many torsional wow. dampers. Cool. If your truck's in my shop, and, yeah. and we have on average about 14 trucks in a day. Uh, I walk through, if I see there it's an original damper, you're not leaving with that damper on there because it makes that much of a change. The mercury filled engine balancer that's made for us by Balance Masters, that was one of my inventions. Uh, Chris Gamble, who owns Balance Masters, worked a lot of RV shows with me and a lot of truck shows. And I saw that he had them for Harley Davidson's and I had a 99 wide glide and my hands would get numb yeah, from, from the, the, eh, the vibration. And I said, Chris, if I put those on a Harley, will that take the vibration out of the handlebars? He said, sure will. I said, let me have a pair. And it did, it fixed that problem. And I said, if I made a mold, would you make one for my big cam Cummins? He said, sure will. Told me how to make the mold, I made the mold. I sent it out to him. He made me a mercury balancer. It does the same thing as, what's the balancers you put on your Kenworth? Called, as the BBs Oh, uh, Centromatics. Centromatics. Well, the balance masters do the same thing on the wheels, except they have mercury instead of the BBs. So that's what we have on the front of the engine. And so I told him the bore and the stroke and the RPM and the horsepower, and he figured out about how much mercury to put in. And I put it on, and I already had a new torsional damper on, and I found out I was going 200 RPM higher between shifts. Because, you know, you get used to not looking at the tack. <laughs> yeah. I said, wow, I've got to look at the tack on this. So I made one for my brother's 444 in a 1990 Marmon. And he, he's, not, he's not the gearhead like me, but he does feel things. But he came back, he said, man, it's smoother. I got to look at the tack now. So then I made one for Calvin Catch. Calvin had a 1995 379 with a 5 EK cat. And anything that we had, he had on there. But Calvin, that was the first one we put on a Caterpillar. And he came back with the same results. So all three of us noticed how much smoother the engine was. So then we made six more and got them on with owner operators. And I like to test everything on an owner operator because if you do something to an owner operator's truck, he's not gonna tell you it worked if it didn't. Right, you always get the straight scoop. Cool. And we have certain owner operators that we know that are very meticulous and very mechanically inclined and that's who we use to test our products. Well, that'd be interesting to replace that and see what it does. Because I don't need a broken crank. No, you don't want a broken crank. We just had a guy stop by Cook City on his, in his uh, 379 with a 6NZ in it. He didn't know that we were there having our owner operator snowmobile conference, so we invited him to ride with us. And he said he had just broke a crack. Oh boy. I said, did you ever put a damper on? He said, no.
Okay, this morning I'm gonna try to change the dampener. Okay, the balancer is out. And the secret to getting it off is a four foot pry bar. Okay, first thing I gotta put on, this is a mercury filled balancer. Mercury. That cleans her up, man. Okay, these are the bottom motor mount bolts that come out. They come up this way and the nut fits on. And I've got to cut off four threads to get that, uh, the mercury filled balancer on because it goes on the back side. <laughs> Tapered good, should come right off. Okay, kids, I got my bolts cut off. These are metric, they say on the end of them, they say 10.9. Now, I think what 10.9 means is uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, of stupidity, they're a 10.9 because they're metric. And they're 30 millimeters. I got 29, give me 30. 30, give me not 29, 30. Give me 30. Can you can I have 30, 30, 30, 30? Can I have American? Can I have American? Give me, give me, give me, give me some American. So this thing is here, goes up in here like this. And then you put a washer and uh, and then you put the nut on there. And then you get you get your impact device. Where's my dying impact device? Come on. There you are. Oh. And you make sure it's going the right way. Bingo. Was his name on? And you put your impact device up here. And you put your wrench on this. And you hang on to your butts. All right. That's going to be perfect. Let me show you. Okay, see that? Before that was sticking way up here and it was going to touch this balancer. So, can give me 30, 30, 30, 30, give me 30 on there. Give me 30, 30. Sold! Sold for 30 millimeters. And these are fine thread bolts, so it like takes a week, a thousand turns to get it anywhere. Okay, that had to have turned it. I know that turned it. It did. Hey, we might get lucky to get one up here on top. Woohoo! We did. That was perfect. Just couldn't have planned that shit better. Sweet. Got that one in too. I love it when a plan comes together. And I planned that all along. You knew that, didn't you? find you handsome, they should at least find you handy.